Well, during the pandemic, many businesses had to pivot and innovate. But making those changes, of course, is not always easy. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas tells us about a program helping them navigate some of the challenges. Let's see. Nika Vaughn is an expert in all things growth. The more light a plant gets, the more water it can use. So when the pandemic dried up sales at her beauty salon, she decided to pivot and plant new seeds. So I thought we're going to be a plant shop and we're going to sell seeds and shovels and all the stuff people need to grow stuff on their own. Here's the thing. Starting a new business requires a whole lot of paperwork, LLCs, trademarks, and Vaughn already had enough on her plate. It was so intense and I was kind of freaking out a little bit. I realized, oh wait, I have a resource. That resource wasn't a high price law firm. She turned to DePaul University's Business Law Clinic, where students provide legal help to small business owners, specifically women who participate in DePaul's Women in Entrepreneurship Institute, like Vaughn. I was a student in the Business Law Clinic. And Catherine Morris was eager to help, and that's one reason why today Vaughn's plant salon is blossoming. Seeing the um, plant salon be created after all of those hours you spend studying in law school and the legal training you're getting from law school come together is just a really rewarding feeling. The clinic says clients pay as little as $500 for a year or two of legal counsel. And if not for them, would you have been able to afford services like no. that? Today, Vaughn still sells some beauty supplies here too. Bath oils, lip balms. A nod to her first business and the idea that sprouted the name for her new one. At the plant salon, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Vaughn's beauty business specialized in weddings, and she says the business law clinic actually helped her keep that one afloat as well. She's changed the business model a bit. She's no longer at that storefront, but it's still going. If you'd like to join the Women in Entrepreneurship Institute, we have more information on our website and in our CBS Chicago app. Just look for the section called Morning Insider.